Just let it sink in, man. Let it sink oh, in. That was beautiful, man. Brought a tear to my um, eye. Oh, my eyes are always full of tears. <laughs> and hello, welcome to the Super Funnels Mapping on Show. Hey, welcome. I'm Gabor. My name's Alex. And today we have... The Clon KTR. The KTR, that is the one. Mm. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, this is now part of our clones and clones series yeah. so make sure to check out all the other videos depending on when this is being uploaded <laughs> there may not be many other videos but <laughs> later on check all the other videos um so yes con ktr uh, the kindly remember the ridiculous hype that offends so many is not of my making yeah. pedal yep it's a long title it is a long but, ca catchy um, though uh so, so basically uh bill finnegan the man who sort of mm -hmm. started Boutique pedals, really? Sort of a con, one of the sort of first kind of boutique pedals. Yeah. The mythical beast that it is now. Um, after a few years of not making them, he sort of came out with the KTR, which is a not hand point to point wired, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, one. a bit more production thing, um, lower price point, but they still sound great. Yes. They're still really good. Yes. Even though there is hype around them and they're kind of. Ridiculous hype. Yeah, ridiculous hype. Uh, that actually, offends many. They're a really good pedal. Like, they are. And that's why we're doing this whole clone, clone type series. Yes, we're doing. So we're looking at trying to get as many clone clones, and we've got a good friend of ours who's going to bring one of the silver, mm. the uh, the actual mythical clone, clone centaur. Mm. So, um, so basically, uh, like with the, any clone, uh, three knobs. You've got volume. You've got treble, and you've got gain. Yep. Or in this case, I guess, gain, gain, treble, volume. Uh, and you also have on here, which you didn't have on the original clone, you have a switch where you can turn a buffer on and off. Now, Bill Finnegan is a big um, buffer guy, mm. for lack of a better word. <laughs> He's into buffers. He likes buffers. The original clone had a buffer. Um, and on here, um, we might have a photo of it. There's a switch. And one way it says almost always better, and the other way it says almost always worse. Which I guess better is, uh, is buffer on, worse is buffer off. And we tried it, and the, we think it sounds better. It does sound better with, with but we'll switch it. We'll switch it. Um, cool. Amp wise, we're going into A. This is a Serotone OTS Mini 20, which is kind of like a mini 20 watt dumbbell style head with some Ecolution Pictronics delay in the loop. Now, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah, just. <laughs> um, just as a, um, a heads up. We are on the drive channel though, it's set very clean. So we'll go to clean clean later on as well. Yeah. We'll do we'll we'll do both. But this is the clean clean. <laughs> so it's not totally clean, but yeah. kinda clean. And we could may as well hang on, turn that delay off for now <coughs> and what oh, tell us a little bit about that guitar Alex. it's a Tompkins custom uh, from Tompkins guitars from Alan Tompkins down near Sydney way all Australian timbers oh, that camera just shut up. oh well bye bye camera so, and uh, yeah lovely telic type thing and um, so let's hear it um, should we hear some gain range yes um, so basically uh, the clone you can use it as a clean boost or you can use it as a drive yeah um, I think it's around about that sort of 10, 11 o'clock sort of mark on the on the gain side where it starts to actually add drive. Before that, it's it just adds sort of presence and a bit body, a bit more yeah. body. Um, so let's just have a look. Let's have a, a, a quick squeeze. So the, all the way off. Okay. So that's the gain, treble, um, and so, uh, yeah, gain, treble, volume. So with it all the way off, it's basically clean. Cool. 
and also uh, and start it, to push the front end of the amp, obviously. Because a lot of there's a lot of headroom there, so you're yep. really pushing the front. Um, so let's. Do you want to start off with clean, or do you want to start off with a bit of gain? Let's, well, let's let's have a look at a gain. Let's just go sort of roughly unity volume. So it's around there, and I should also mention we just put the pedal that way because the writing's that way. But really, it's that should upright. Be. So so that's twelve o'clock. Where the, where the, the <laughs> jacks are. The jacks are. Yeah, so yeah, you know, on. yeah, just so you know. Cool. So that's. Uh, I mean, it's not a huge amount of gain, but it's just enough gain, and with yep. all the headroom, it's. I think it's mainly meant to push the front end of an amp. Absolutely. Or other pedals. Mm. Very cool. You want to hear it with your guitars? Let's try. So I've got my Jazz Master as always, uh, which clean sounds a little like this. It's a little bit higher output than yours, yeah. a bit more dry. Sounds great. It? it sounds good. It's yeah. a, they're great sounding pedal. And I mean, gain wise, like I said, if you crank it and actually boost the volume a bit as well, just to give extra mm. testicular force. <laughs> There's quite a bit of gain there. Speaking of testicular <laughs> force, let's try that thing. Yes, testicular force. Let's get some humbuckers happening. Oh, yeah. good segue, hey? Yes. Yeah. Speaking of two, <laughs> excellent. <Yeah. laughs> uh, all right, so um, Calvin CT6 um, or Kiesel nowadays, as they're called. Um, but this is back in the days when it was still called Carvin. Um, and I believe they're called C22 humbuckers, which are the were. Uh, it's probably different now, but. Probably about a good decade or so ago when I bought this, that was sort of the standard humbuckers they put into those. Cool. So clean, it sounds a little like this. It's Definitely more yeah. testicular force. <laughs> so let's do that. <coughs> Sounds good. <laughs> they, it's a great sounding pedal. Um, let's try it again. Let's just go. I was like things in ten. The thing I like, always like about that and yep. those style pedals is um, no definition. Absolutely. So you, um, yep. you you play a chord and you hear each, it, even though it's fairly high gain, you hear all the notes. I noticed that when you go, I played the neck pickup earlier. Might be pushing like. <laughs> Picking lighter. Seventh chords, yeah, but you still. But you hear all the chords, you hear all the yeah, notes. Definition. Yeah. Um, cool. So, through the magic television, we might try the clean channel on the Yes. Amp. 
We'll be back right after this. <laughs> and we are back. Hello. Wow. Yeah, cool. Um, if only we could fast forward real life sometimes. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, dent dentist points. <coughs> so okay. We're very much on the clean channel now. This is um, No Break Up, which is. That. Beautiful. Now let's try the same the same thing we did. Uh, actually, let's quickly try. Mm. Um, let's do clean boost, yeah. But let's have a listen, buffered and unbuffered as well. Ah, uh, sure. So, so okay. So. <laughs> so at the moment we just boosting volume, so yeah. I hope you can hear it, so it just goes up in volume a bit. Now let's try the same setting with and without buffer. So we're buffered at the moment. That's um, That was unbuffered. Yep. So play with it and then halfway through I go to buffered again. It does sound different. I hope that comes across because to me the buffer actually <coughs> makes it three dimensional. Yeah. In biggins it a bit. In <laughs> biggins, that's the best. Way. It does make it, it, it bit gives of this, it body. Bit of this. It gives it body. Yep, that, that's it. So if you want to know what buffers do, they do it, but they do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. It, it, um, and again, maybe, you know, if you can listen to it with headphones on or, you know, if you have good yeah. speakers and stuff, not just throw iPhone speakers or iPad speakers or computer speakers, it does really, it does make the sound bigger. It yep. does kind of, it fills out the room, which yeah. is kind of... Without just adding bass. No, no, it, I mean, you can really hear, tell in here. It, yeah. it really sounded different, completely yeah. different, switching it on and off. Cool. And I do have to say, on does sound better. It does. Okay, let's go through um, gain range with clean. Chops on. So this is now basically where the gain is off. We're just driving the front ah, end, so it's sure. actually the, the it's coming from the amp, the, uh, right. the gain, because I'm really cranking it. It doesn't make a difference with that. Still better. You can still hear it. It's... So that was just... Hear your brand guitar? From Boogeries. Uh, yeah. It does sound good. It's a, it, it clean or into a clean or dirty amp. It does yeah. sound good. Yeah. It does it does add so much. I don't know. There's a reason why people like these. Yeah. Okay, again, so this is now a clean clean. So it's a clean channel. I think we're pushing a bit. Hey, um, very cool. It sounds good. It just sounds great. Yeah. 
That's a lot of gain still. I mean, there's enough gain on there to cover most bases. Let's just, for shits and giggles, quickly plug in the Jazzmaster. Okay. Just for something else. <laughs> Even though I know we get the comments, oh, I don't use a Strat. I oh, mean, I, I play a... Some 60s weird guitar. Why don't you use that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jazzmaster it is. Um, so that's the clean on the Jazzmaster. So actually it's kind of clean now. I just love chords with this. Mm. It just has such nice... I like it. It's very good. And that's kind of why people have been copying it. Yes. Or inspiring their own <coughs> from it. There is literally a lot of manufacturers, as we found out, yeah. <laughs> that are making copies or inspired by versions of this. Yeah. Um, so this is a KTR. We're going to do a video of the actual Centaur at some stage, or one of them anyway. And I believe it's a silver, no graphic one, no horsey. Mm. Um, I don't know if there's really any difference between them, but some people are very adamant about, oh, which one is it? Is it, is it a gold one, a silver one with the horse, no horse? <laughs> so I think the yeah. one we're going to do is a silver, no graphic one. Um, thanks to a good friend, Craig. Um, and then, yeah, stay tuned for, or if it's already down the track, uh, check out all the other Clon and Clone yeah. inspired videos. Uh, big thank you to Mr. Bill Finnegan for making the Clon and the Clon Catty. Yeah. I still think great pedal. There's a reason why so many people like it. Yeah, it's very good. Cool, yes. And make sure to subscribe to our channel somewhere below us. Click on a button that, and then there's that little bell you can click for notifications and it goes ding, ding. New super photos of Baby Dog Battle Show video. Also which is the best time of the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, check out our podcast too, which will be a link below, which is on iTunes and Podbean. And it pretty much covers it all, I believe. Yes, and all the social media crap and stuff, that's all below us too. So uh, thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. See you next time. See ya. Bye-bye.